Hey, what's up everyone? In this video, I'm going to show you what it's like to work, eat, sleep, live, and play in Roanoke, Texas. And hey, if this is your first visit to my channel, hit the subscribe button and smash the little bell over there so you're notified each and every time I pump out one of these videos. And hey, we get calls all the time of people relocating here and we just love it. So if you're thinking about relocating to Roanoke or anywhere in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex, reach out to us, send us an email, text, give me a phone call. Just know we got your back when you're relocating in to Roanoke or anywhere in the Dallas Fort Worth Metroplex. And we're getting after Roanoke, Texas right now. All right, the tour of Roanoke is going to start right here on Oak Street. This is the main uh, street with all the eateries and micro brew pub and Craft and Vine, which is a, a really neat wine restaurant, um, wine on tap and so forth. And um, as you can see here, they have lots of events here going on, concert series in the plaza uh, for, you know, a good atmosphere. I'm here, you can see here at the, you know, they're having their holiday activities. It is the 19th of November, 2020. Uh, I'm here with Colt. He's uh, with me today. He's my compadre. He's with me a lot. So if you, uh, if you get with me, most likely he'll be looking at houses with us. He knows the Metroplex pretty well in real estate. So um, like I said, the weather right now today, 19th of November, we are in the high 70s, just a beautiful sunny day. You can see the blue skies. There's the Roanoke Water Tower. That's uh, the main Oak, or Oak Street there, going down through there with the eateries and the pubs. I mean, just all kinds, barbecue, Mexican food, Cajun food, name it, it's here. Uh, pizza, that uh, up on top of that uh, Independence title sign there, that's at uh, Craft and Vine. Uh, with the wines on tap. I think there's like 30 or 40 wines on tap there and then like Soul Bird uh, chicken sandwiches and then there's um, It's called the chop shop right there. That's where they have uh, It's one of the country and western stars. I, I think it's Luke Bryan or somebody like that His partners or owns that and they bring in lots of talent there and cover bands um it's, it's just a really neat place there um that way you can see and then down through here this is the new uh town hall they just built you can see by the flags there the christmas tree is up uh we're only a week away from thanksgiving um so you can see i mean if you're thinking you know what's the weather like in texas in late november this is what it's like i'm in shorts today uh, going around doing these videos, so uh, it's really nice outside and uh, Let me get you started with a tour of Roanoke, Texas to give you a little uh, tour of this street that uh, I was just at the other end there. You can see the town hall um, So you can kind of see exactly how it uh, You know what kind of restaurant this is that uh, Oak Street brew uh, mall to the left that we're just passing uh, there's like seven different eateries in there with a microbrewery, Bayou Jack's, uh, Cajun food, um, and then the uh, historic um, Roanoke uh, Museum there to the left. Um, and then we're coming up on the, the Oak Street Pie Shop, Mexican food over to the right again. Um, Babe's Chicken on the left here, world famous there. You got to come to Babe's, check it out when you're here. Of course the water tower twisted root on on the right then uh, pizza place uh, there's also a taco shop there on the right and then we're coming up on uh, there's a little uh, oh what's uh, hay sugar on on the right there it's a soda shop ice cream candy uh, heart eight here on the right and then I mean just as you can already see all kinds of stuff a neat little street and then Roanoke is is really they're all in as far as um, being built around employment commerce I mean you have um, Facebook out here you have Walmart all kinds of logistics Nestle um, like I said Charles Schwab is out here Ameritrade uh, all kinds of professional um, 
build it and then like I said all the logistics stuff we're on the railhead here um, it's just it's close to the Texas Motor Speedway uh, then they've also built uh, they're building a, a lot of um, condos and townhomes here in this downtown area we'll take a left here and I'll, I'll show you what uh, what's kind of going on there these are apartments with retail on the bottom off to the right uh, of course their their parking garage there and then you can see off to the left here where they're building uh, townhomes that have a two-car garage and so forth on those so uh, lots of options out here uh, in Roanoke and uh, we'll get on and, and show you the rest of the city here this is 17 lakes here in uh, Roanoke it's just right off 114 and 377 and it really does have 17 lakes inside here which you can kind of see the the one in front of me here the only downside to this community that as you can see it has the the high tension power lines that run through it that's in front of us so there's uh there's a gas line easement and there's also the um, um like i said the, the high tension power lines that that run through here beautiful community it was once uh byron nelson's ranch um and of course he has uh, since passed and um so it it got sold off and uh is developed and but it still is uh of course a beautiful community price ranges here uh in the 400 and up range uh as you can see uh, you you got some that back the water uh has you know really good views out here uh, they're not you know just really all packed in but uh like i said that that is my only downside is is these high tension power lines that run through here and the gas line easement on it but other than that uh new homes in here by a couple of the uh, uh national builders uh trees kf minion um are still building in here under new construction so Again, this is 17 Lakes and it's serviced by the Northwest ISD. I'm still here in the 17 Lakes uh, community area. So to give you an idea, this is uh, Wayne Cox Elementary School. Uh, the service, this area is serviced by the Northwest ISD. So that'll give you an idea of what uh, kind of the schools look like and what the view is up here in 17 Lakes. It's on top of the plateau here and as you can see uh right over here to the right that i'm looking at there that's the texas motor speedway uh for nascar truck races any races so forth and then all this in the distance here is the logistics um part of alliance and we'll go through that as well that has like i said earlier a lot of the uh, walmart nestle facebook um General Mills, all kinds of uh, warehouse there. Ameritrade is out here. So kind of give you, you know, an idea of what, what it looks out like out here in uh, still in the Roanoke area. I'm at the Hawaiian Falls Water Park here on the west side of Roanoke now. Um, this is a very neat attraction during the summer. You can see there's lots of rides, uh, water activities doing here. Uh, just on the other side is the Roanoke uh, Skateboard Park and they also do the bikes in there as well So it, it's really a lot of activities over on the west side of Roanoke here um, Another neat thing about the history of Roanoke that I forgot to mention earlier is this is actually um, In the area where Bonnie and Clyde had the altercation with the Grapevine Police um, it, it we're standing about a mile and a half from that spot where that took place so there's uh, some history there Bonnie and Clyde roam this area out here and then also another big name out here which I mentioned earlier of the 17 Lakes community uh, is our great uh, golfer uh, Byron Nelson uh, he actually lived out here as well I believe his wife is uh, still out here uh, I'm not real sure but uh, yeah, this is where uh, Byron Nelson lived as well out here in Roanoke. So yeah, 
a lot of a lot of neat history this is a skate park that I was just mentioning on the other side of uh, Hawaiian Falls where we were just on the other side of the water tower there but this is the uh, skateboard park uh, it's a really neat area lots of uh, activities going on out here with the skaters and skateboard um, and like I said they bring their bikes and so forth out here uh, show you the the pool area well I call it a pool area but uh, with no water that they use for uh, skating there I guess the dome I'm, I'm not a skateboarder but that's pretty neat and then sand volleyball courts there tennis courts and then continuation of, of the park system over there so yeah this is on the west side of Roanoke a uh, really neat area Byron Nelson is one of three Northwest high schools now this high school is actually located in Trophy Club Roanoke area uh, super nice school this thing I think it's about seven years old is uh, the construction on this but lots of uh, this campus is just wonderful uh, tennis courts over there uh, football practice and athletic facility there you can see uh, you know all that they have here but uh, like I said this is one of three there's Northwest High School out on 114 by the Speedway that hosts the uh, football stadium and games out there and then there's Eaton High which is out in the Hazlitt area but it's still part of the uh, Northwest ISD but this is uh, the Byron Nelson High School campus one of the newer um, development areas here in Roanoke is a Roanoke Gateway. This is a um, um, shopping center strip mall. has a Cinemark um, theater movie uh, house in it. Uh, Hat Creek, which is a uh, burger place. There's a brass tap. It's a, a brew pub over there. And then uh, on the border is right there on the, we're looking at it right now. But uh, one thing I want to show you here, this is across the highway here. That's the new Charles Schwab um, complex or campus facility. Uh, they are just finishing up on that. They'll start, I um, guess, occupying it once all this COVID stuff is over with. So uh, this is Highway uh, 170. It's coming off of 114, which goes into Grapevine, DFW area, and continues on 114 out that way towards Rome and 287. So again, this is the uh, Roanoke Gateway uh, strip mall area. This is the Roanoke Rec Center that I'm at now, and this is on the very south, end, south border of Roanoke. As you can see, that's Highway 170 there. Uh, that the traffic is on that is the uh, new charles swab campus that they're just finishing up uh, bringing a lot of folks out of uh, the california area and probably all over the country in here and then off in the distance there that building that you're looking at there that's a fidelity campus fidelity investment so a lot of professional stuff going on out here that is a circle t ranch that it sits on that's the ross parole owned um, and the family is you know that's who owns it now of course with uh, him deceased but um that's owned by uh, the perot family uh hillwood development is uh you know out on this corridor this 170 is also known as the alliance corridor um and that's what you're looking at there with the traffic uh here's of course soccer fields apartments over in that area there's the actual rec center there of course, indoor basketball, volleyball, uh, racquetball, exercise facility, you know, fitness classes uh, off in the distance there. That's a new town hall that they just recently finished up um, really kind of the first of this year uh, on it. So it's, it's really new, really nice. Some more apartments and uh, the townhomes that I showed you are just on the other side of those apartments. And then over off in the distance here, there is also uh, some softball fields and a smaller water park and then the uh, Senior Citizen Center of Roanoke. So that kind of gives you a view of uh, what's up in here in the, 
in the south part of Roanoke. So I'm going to wrap up this tour of Roanoke, Texas right here at the new town hall, um, town center, whatever you want to call it here. But like I said, I'm here in late November, November 19th, 2020 to be exact. I'm here in shorts today. I've, I've been around today. It's in the uh, mid to high 70s just a beautiful day so if you're wondering what it's like to live here this is what it's like uh, so there's uh here's a look of the uh, town hall just recently finished earlier this year and uh we were we were just down uh on oak street that's the main street there as well so uh the pros and cons of living here in roanoke it's a small town still uh, growth is coming this way there's lots of commerce out here uh, eateries you know the Walmart all the shopping that you need and the home prices you can start in the 200s and go all the way up into the the 700 range and uh, like I said it's it, it's still gonna have growing pains as far as infrastructure all that but it's really close to uh, the major campuses like the Charles, the new Charles Schwab, Ameritrade, Fidelity, all the um, logistics that are down 170, the Facebook, the Nestle, the Walmart, all the logistics down there. Uh, and, and very convenient to the um, either Dallas or Fort Worth uh, as far as the uh, highways getting in and out, Dallas, Fort Worth airport, really easy to get to within 15, 20 minutes of here. So, I mean, it's, it's just really a convenient uh, location. And uh, if you're thinking about relocating, moving here to Roanoke or anywhere in the Dallas-Fort Worth area, reach out to me, um, shoot me an email, text, give me a call. Just know I got your back when you're relocating either to Roanoke or the Dallas-Fort Worth Metroplex. Hey, until that next video, I'll catch you later.